hello again. Hello, hello. Happy Monday. Long time no see. <laughs> How are you all? How is the beginning of your week, your your Monday? Hi, Sue. Hi, Marcia. Hey, hey, Shelly Stacklin. How are you? How's the house? How's the going? Hello, Leona. So, I seen a lot of you yesterday. Hi, Helena. How are you? Most of you joined the craziness yesterday of the book nook. Uh, hi, Helen. Which was really, it was actually really cool because I really thought you guys would get bored. Um, Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss mm -hmm. Linda. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carol. Mm -hmm. Hi, Beth. I know, right? 50. Mm -hmm. Can you believe mm -hmm. we've done 50 mm -hmm. of these? Mm -hmm. Hold on, Bubba's. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss Eda. Edie. Eda. Hi, Miss Edie and Pamela. <laughs> A wet and miserable day. Oh, really, Sue? Yucky, yucky. Yes, yes, that's the Troy Troy. Helena says, hello, Mr. Troy Troy. Helena, how's your daughter? I haven't seen any cute pictures of her lately, unless I'm just missing it, which is possible. Not a dull moment last night. I know. Hi, Miriam. I really thought, though, that it would be boring for viewers to watch, um, you know, because it's not it basically us putting together a 3d puzzle right but it was so it was really neat to see the feedback that we got that actually you guys number one enjoyed it and number two wanted to see us go through that miserable time again <laughs> so we did schedule it out for next sunday um but um it's gonna be an hour later just because we're not trying to interfere with uh another creator that's on um at that time so hi trina so, yeah, instead of, I think, 3 p.m. my time, it's going to be 4 p.m. Pacific Standard and then 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I will send out the um, invites and stuff. I've already launched the event, but I'll send out the invites. Hi, Gwen. She is very good singing away in her room. Oh, my God, that's so freaking cute. I love that. I love that. It was interesting to watch you, me and Rob. <laughs> Robin and I struggle, and Ronnie's um, hilarious uh, commentary was just, it was it was so funny. So funny. But, yeah. And then when we got off, I was like, oh, my goodness, where am I going to put all of this stuff? Because, you know, I don't want to you know, mess it up. I don't want to get anything unorganized as if it was organized in the first place. But whatever, you know. I, so, yeah, it was just. So now it's like it's like stacked up here and I'm just waiting for like an earthquake, a California earthquake to come or something. And then it'll be a disaster. Then I'll get to put it together all over again. Uh, how do you send out? How do you send? How do you send our invites to your future lives? Uh, there's an invite button. You just click the invite button. Thank you, Miss Linda. All right. Let me put my. my balloon on here. So uh, like I talked to you, oh wow, I've created so many. Okay, that's the right one. Um, whoa, like I talked to you guys about when we left off on Friday, I would continue to do, um, I think I was missing two of the panels for the rice paper. And then I obviously didn't finish all of the, um, the molding on the live. So we've gone ahead and do that did that. So there's molding all the way on there. Now I still haven't done anything with the basket because again, um, I probably will end up just painting it a solid color. Cause that's, what's going to hold on to our little, um, your balloon. <laughs> that's what's going to hold on to this. Once we get this all done and painted and everything. So what I'm thinking about today though, is we need to, um, I need to run color back over the the blue parts because you know when you're doing the the clay work and stuff it you know gets like this it gets on the gets on the blue um it's not as easy to wipe off as it is on the rice paper so we'll need to go back over and fix the color on this but before i do that 
we need to paint this. Now, what I was thinking is I think it's going to be really pretty to do the silver wax as far as like, you know, giving it the highlight and dimensions and stuff. But I think what we should do is um, paint the, the molding, the trim. I'm liking the mud gray. I think I'm going to do it the mud gray. Hi, Dana. Hi, Miss Kathy. Um, thank you. I think I'm going to do the mud gray and then we'll do the silver um, on top of that, the silver wax. Or if we don't like the silver wax, we can always change it. But then also what I want to do is I want to drape uh, the chain. So then we'll end up having to put chain on here. So we'll drape the chain on here like so. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So we'll do that and do like a couple of chain layers of that on there. And then because it is the chain link, we could always hang some embellishments or some charms or something from the chain, depending on how, how it looks. So let's get out the, actually, I don't need to get out anything. I could paint right inside of the jar. Where did you get the hot air balloon? And I know I heard it in the replay on Friday, but I slept a second since then and forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it is from it's a good thing I didn't take off the tag still didn't take off the tag it is from factorydirectcraft.com all right so we will let me get a small angle oh, the gardener here I thought it was clear because the uh, Amazon already came but no nope, the gardener's here so we will go through and again, um, I'm wondering what, oh, actually I don't need to paint that because we're going to probably stick uh, the top, the top on there. So anyhow, I went ahead and went through the comments yesterday on both channels for anybody that uh, said, you know, done when they did the things to enter your names in the drawing for the book nook. Um, but yeah. It's just... Sorry, y'all. I will. Uh... Hi, Chauncey. Thank you. Hi, Ari. How are you? Thank you. So I won't torture you guys with having to paint every single one of these. Just like last time, I'll paint a couple. And then we'll get the effect of um, what the silver will look like on there. Um, or even if we still want to use the silver. And then I can always finish up the backs, uh, you know. Troy. Oh, hello. Troy, don't let the dogs out. Hold on, you guys. Sorry. Troy? No, don't let the dogs out. Watch out, Troy. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm coming. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Woo, I jumped up quick on that one. Holy guacamole. Sorry, I'm so sorry. You guys know I hate. Is it the same thing as this Saturday Lives? Do you? No, on mine, you don't need to tag a friend, Chauncey. All you need to do is just um, share the video and like it. Um, so, sorry, you guys. But um, Troy, like, you know, Troy likes to do what the dogs are asking and open the door. And can you imagine? Both of them going out with the gardener. And then on it's really, the gate would be open. So she would just be like, I'm free. <laughs> so, but yes. Um, we finally know who let the, exactly, exactly, Miss Linda. And right when I rounded the corner, Troy looked back at me and had a big old smile on his face. So, yeah, you know, he was definitely, definitely about to open that door. And the dogs are looking at him like, do it, do it, hurry before she gets back. 
All right, now I'm gonna actually take a firmer brush. This one is way too loose. And so what's gonna happen is as I'm trying to get close to the edges here, because the brushes are so flimsy, it's going to get all over the, the, uh, the paint, what I, the rice paper in the blue. All right, I need to move my mouse. So that I can't, do you guys remember, or is this person here? Um, Cause when I was going through the comments, I was just looking for the comment, you know, everybody who commented done. But there was somebody who said, okay, I put done, but I don't really want to be in the contest after, after seeing this. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Judy. Hi, Jamie. I am so sorry. I'm going to mute it so you guys don't get tortured with the bark. He was right at the front door with the blower, so right basically at the window. Anyhow, um, oh, Beth, no, you have me singing it again. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? So, um, do you guys, or is this person here, the person who said, never mind, I don't want to be entered in the contest? Because I don't know if that person was serious or not. Um, and I just, you know, going through the comments, looking for the all the duns, I thought about it later, like, oh, sugar, I should have looked for that person. Um, I wrote that I did the things, but please don't put me on. So, oh, Miss Linda, it was you? Okay. So you really want me not to, not to do it? I will definitely, cause I'm pretty sure I have your name on the wheel thing. So I'll definitely take you off. I knew somebody had said it, but you know, I didn't have my, I didn't read most any of the comments live yesterday. I just heard, uh, you know, and then when I did read that comment, I didn't make a mental note of, who said it. So I thought, watch, you know, their luck, they'll probably be the one that were, that wins. So, I, yesterday though, it was, at, if you didn't get a chance to, to watch the live yesterday, these dogs in the gardener. Oh, goodness gracious. So yesterday, Robin from Robin's Songs and I did um, a live um, doing the book nooks. And I will warn you, it is a longer live. I'm actually surprised Ronnie let us go that long. Usually when it's an hour, he's like, okay, <laughs> your time is up. It's time to get off of this thing. But um, so it is a longer live, but oh my goodness, it was, it was so funny. And when I first seen what we had to do, I will tell you, I was very intimidated. I was, I was thinking it was going to be a lot harder, um, you know, because there was so this, in, the instructions have instructions on top of instructions. So, you know, it might say step one, but step one has so many instructions um, so I was thinking that I was really going to like, be stuck Onyx is doing her zoomies and Jack doesn't like it uh, again why I changed the name to chaos and have I told you all lately how much I appreciate you guys for even being able to watch me and my chaos Good gravy. I saw the panic in your eyes at the start. Seriously. Hi, Rennie. How are you? Thank you for joining. It was really funny. And I, I'm telling you, I did, though. Sue, I really did. I seriously had panic. Um, because you guys seen I opened the package. It's just real life. I know, but it's, I feel, you know, all the loud barking and everything else that happens here is just nuts. Um, 
but I opened the package on, you know, live with you guys. So I didn't, I kind of looked at the instructions, but not really until I was live. So when I opened the package and then really started to read the instructions, I was like, Oh boy, oh boy, kid, this is this is oh, this might be a little <laughs> this might be more of a disaster than uh than I realized, but um, you know, it wasn't too bad once you start getting into it. Now, for those of you who do miniatures like Sue and Shelly. I know puppies will be puppies, but Jack, I just wish he would relax. Uh, but for you who all who do miniatures, I mean, I was, there was some of those things that I was like, how the heck am I going to hold some of this stuff? That's a full disclosure. That's kind of why I didn't want to do the books and stuff on right away is because there's no way I'm going to be able to see what the heck I'm folding and putting together. But then I realized that my dumb butt, they actually gave little bitty squares and all you had to do was put the sticker around it. That what, what That's what the book was. I thought it was going to make me fold on the lines and all of that stuff. So I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this is taking forever, so this is going to drive me crazy, making you guys watch me do this. So I'm going to move on after I paint this to the um, the carousel, and then I'll paint all of this stuff offline, because I'm sure this is just exactly what you came to see today, is me paint the ropes. Again, why didn't I think about painting it? I don't know. I have no clue why I don't use my brain a little more often. Wasabi, I have a third hand to help with putting miniatures together. Can I borrow it? It was not too bad. Once you... Right, Jamie, it wasn't too bad once I started. Um, the only other thing that was kind of like an issue was I wish I had a little bit well, even I still have my area here. It was so it's hard to get some of the little pieces out because, you know, they're in there pretty good. But then when you start picking, pulling out the bigger pieces like the carpet or the floor, I mean, the some of them were, um, you know, detaching. So now I'm thinking, oh, my word, am I going to be able to know if this was part of this J or part of K? I don't know. We'll see. Hello, duck sauce. <laughs> I'm always game to watch the process. Aw. I just, you know, I'm sure everybody knows how to paint. They don't need to watch someone paint molds for an hour. Yeah, well, I have my, um, I have my, these, which, what are these? The, you know, the ones where you... And they close. I love those. But it's not even so much the stinking tweezers. It's my eyes. Even though I have my contacts in, I still need cheaters. But, yeah. Anyway, so I talked to Robin. And it, well, we messaged earlier. And she's, she said she had fun, too. And so, yeah, I scheduled. I scheduled it right, I think, right before I was getting ready to go live today. So like I said, I'll send out the invites and then you guys can let it hit the reminder on your calendar. <laughs> it's so crazy. Then hit Ronnie's commentary though. He's, he's so funny. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Helena. They're really, really? I am currently trying to paint over my raised stenciling, and oh my god, it's so tedious trying to get the edge. Yeah, it is. It really is. Um, I have lights too. I guess my 
the step from the lights on mine, um, I obviously come a little bit later, but yeah, I'm going to have to mess with that as well, which is not something I'm looking forward to because yeah. Oh wait, let me stop. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint the brown, um, which is the mud gray on all of this. And then um, we will hang, we'll do the silver on there. Once that dries, I'll put a little bit of the silver on there so we could see if we even like the silver. Hi, Cindy, how are you? Just happen you run up, just happen you run up on me. Are you, you just catching me on accident? I think that's what you probably mean. You know, we all love a uh, spell check here. Okay, so we'll let that dry, and then I'll show you guys what the silver looks like, and then we can decide, do we really want the silver? Because I also have the gold chains and stuff like that, so that's not going to matter if we want to change it. But we do need to figure out about the, the horse, the carousel, and this mold. So before we do that, let's clean it off with a little bit of alcohol, and this is just to get off any oils or lotions that I've had on my hands. Um, Cause you don't want to try to paint over that. So, okay. Just seeing you on here. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, the lights are fun to put in. All right, Shelly Stacklin. We'll see about that. If, if I'm having a hard time with the lights, I'll, uh, I'll come asking you for some help but all right so i'm just gonna rub again this is just alcohol just cleaning off whatever oils or whatnot that's on there and then we will paint this um because it's already black let's go with all right guys now so this is going to be the carousel or the, the you know, it's going to hang from here like this. Do we paint it the blue or do we paint it the brown? Live balloon. You can do it. I have three wired dollhouses. You got to take pic. Have you, do you have pictures of those up, Shelly? I want to see them. I bet you they're, I love that stuff. I bet you that's really pretty. So, thank you, Rima. She's making it for me. <laughs> here we go again. Oh, I love when Shelly gets into this. It's storming here. It may cause my service not to work well. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Trina. So, we've got browns, browns, brown, blue, blue, brown. I don't have pictures to put on Facebook. Okay, brown. Okay, so we're going to go with this brown then. So we'll go with the um, the mud gray. Um, and it doesn't have to be just this color because we can, um, you know, we obviously are going to need to paint for details. So we could put the blue in there too. I know better. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be lazy and not prime it, but. I know better. All right, so I'm just going to get my black pabeo gesso and prime it because it is the resin. You should prime it. I was going to be lazy right now. That's why I was thinking like that. Do as I say, not as I do. All right. Oh, that's why I need to clean the top. This is one reason why I really like the Pabeo gesso because you can just kind of loop, loop. You know, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? All right. Let's not get the tiniest brush in the world, Terry, to paint it. So I ordered some, um, the winner from last week's uh, goodie box giveaway has not contacted me. Which is really weird because usually the winner messages me right away. Uh, I don't even know if I re I don't remember who it was, but 
Um, you all might, might want to check the last few seconds of Friday's video because the winner didn't contact me. So I'm sure my mailman was in shock today that I didn't have anything for him to pick up. I'm driving so you don't want to upset me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I don't know. I can't. I don't know if anybody else remembered or was it Annette? I don't. I can't. I can't remember. I think it was someone newer. Um. But yeah, so, and then as uh, Beth noticed, today is our 50th episode. I cannot believe, I'm kind of proud of myself, y'all, that, um, you know, I've done 50 of these, uh, that I've <clears throat> kept up with it and, you know, didn't die and fall at the wayside or anything that I've able to been able to continue doing it except for the one week that I felt like I was on my deathbed. But um, so, of course, you know, we're got to do something fun for 50. So I will. Um, wow. Everybody who is here today. And, and I will have a separate wheel for everybody who is here today and we will do two live two drawings on why did i put that brush in there two drawings for friday we'll do one for the 50 and then one for the regular friday happy mail so yeah i would well, even when i was doing the description yesterday i was like wow 50 doesn't seem like I've done that many, but apparently. You love, well, look, Shelly Stacklin, if you can give me an easier way to, and a fair way to pick people, I'm all ears. Because I don't like the like scrolly thing, you know, the up and down thing. I don't know. I don't. Because I don't feel like you can get all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom for everybody to have like a fair chance. I don't know. And I feel like the wheel just is random and, you know, everybody has a shot and everybody can see the names. Aw, thank you, Dana. Hi, Sonia. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I know. I was just going to say send it all to me, but then I guess not. that's not fair. Yes, yeah, Shelly, probably not. Probably not. Hi, Papas. Oh, you found your watch? Yeah, you got to keep your watch so that Onyx doesn't get it, okay? Oh, Helena, you don't have to keep doing that. Thank you so much. Uh, you love the wheel? The wheel is fine? I just, I've looked, you guys. I've looked for, like, different things, different ways. Um, I'm not a trivia person, so... For me to ask trivia questions would be a joke because I'm bad at trivia. Um, and like, hey, hey, Callie, thank you. Well done for 50 entertaining people effortlessly. Oh, thanks, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Oh, I think you did put done, right? So I can put you on the, the giveaway too. Because I think, I think Marcia was saying that was something you might like to do with those book notes. Thank you, Sonia. I can't share, but I can send stars. Oh, Helena. Well, I put, if you guys can't share and you like the videos, remember I tell you to let me know so that way I can put you on the wheel. Thanks, Miss Edie. I, I just feel that the wheel, because not like me, I'm not a trivia person. Not everybody is trivia, like, you know, enthusiasts and so I, and then even then I have to make sure that I watch to see who answers first. And then, you know, someone's going to feel that they got in there before the other person. And then they're going to get their feelings. You know what I mean? 
So I just spin my little and then <laughs> you like my sound effects. Just look back to Friday's wheel. The winner was Annette. It, okay, it was Annette. I thought I, it's just, she hasn't been with me long, watching me long. So I, I wasn't sure. Okay, it was Annette. Annette hasn't contacted me yet. So thank you. Hi, Lynn. Oh my goodness. So you all, Lynn, um, Lynn's daughter, I made her the, um, I made her daughter the, an apron. I didn't share it with anybody, um, because it was a surprise number one. And then when she sent me the picture, I didn't, you know, it wasn't really my place to post a picture of somebody else's child. I just think that's not that's not kosher. That's not cool. <laughs> um, so, and then I also made a matching hat for her. Well, I didn't, I just sent that because, and this, the pictures that Lynn sent me of her daughter and the smile on Holly's face were so, I loved it. Well, Lynn sent happy mail the other day. And in that happy mail, she sent Troy Troy some really neat things which by the way lynn troy troy did started doing that owl thing by himself the um stained glass with the stickers he was doing that by himself and the dexterity in troy's fingers it's a little bit it's tougher on little things but he was doing it by himself it was so cool so i sat down and we did it together um a little more but anyhow um, she also sent in there a gift card for Amazon. Don't you know that Troy knew what that was right away, showed me his phone, which on there was the Amazon app, and we ordered um, him another phone case. Lord, help me. Somebody send help another phone case and um, headphones. So he has his headphones that he has on right now. Oh, I wish I could, I need to get my phone so you could see. He has his headphones on right now and his new phone case on. So just again, thank you so much, Lynn. I, I, honestly, the pictures of Holly were more than enough. The smiles on her face were more than enough. But yeah, so yeah, he knew right away what that doggone card was, which is funny, right? Because it's not like I give him Amazon gift cards. He just goes on Amazon. He recognized the, you know, the symbol, the Amazon and nope, showed me his phone and Pointed to what he wanted. All right. So this color over the black is going to distort this color. So um, don't worry. I know you guys are probably looking at it going, oh, Lord, don't worry. We will put on a lighter brown as well. And, and then we'll dry brush and do some other stuff to it to bring out the, the features of the horses. Only you can see my comments. Um, okay. Um, I'm not sure what your name is, the Bron Bronx. Uh, you, you're not seeing comments from other platforms because I'm streaming on Facebook as well. So you're not missing comments. You just, uh, I can see everyone's comments. It's just you can't see comments on Facebook. I'm Yeah, on Facebook because you're on YouTube. I know. Don't you just love, he's just, he's something else, but no, he's a sweetheart. But yeah, he, the smile, he, and I took some pictures and he, you know, was waving uh, to Lynn and I took the pictures of him. And so hopefully she can show Holly that he was waving to her and thanking them both. But yeah, it was really cute. It was really cute. Yeah, he, I was just really surprised about that owl. I wish I could get it because you guys, it's, it was just like a stained glass. I'd never seen one before. It was a stained glass owl 
and you actually put the picture uh, stickers in instead of painting. And um, he was doing it by himself. I'm so happy that he's enjoying everything we see. They know everything. Holly plays with me all the time. We have a problem with the apron now. She won't allow her now that she won't allow her to stay in school. It has to come home in her school. But oh, <laughs> the picture. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. She won't let her apron stay at school. Oh, no. <laughs> it has to come home with her. <laughs> You're going to have to put a reminder in your phone. That's what I have to do. Reminder in my phone. Have you used the transparent, trans transparent cracking gel? Yes, I have. This one? Yes. Oh, okay. That's I wasn't sure, Sue. I couldn't tell. Thank you. If you got that. <laughs> Thank you. Can I use antique paste and then pouring glaze and or what varnish on the top? It's on a small table. Can you use antique paste inside? Okay, hold on. <laughs> so we're using the transparent gel and you want to know if you can use antiquing paste in the crafts? Yes. And then what varnish on top? Um, you can use any varnish that you like. You just want to varnish it. It doesn't have to be a, um, it doesn't have to be the stinky varnish. Goodness, the solvent-based varnish. That, it, it doesn't have to be the solvent-based varnish if that's what you're asking. Um, but yeah, the transparent is, I've used that many times. I used it and I mixed in the, I mixed in, man, my brain, you guys. I mixed in the uh, metal pigment and I changed that color so that it wasn't transparent. But yeah, it, it, it works just like most of the other ones do. It, it, the only difference between those and fine line is fine line is the only one you have to use um solvent base the other ones you can varnish it with whatever you like i i have pent art so that's what i use of course oh okay oh i didn't see the third one so thank goodness what choy Oh, the charger is in your room for your phone. Okay, so you guys can see how that color is kind of a, it's it's a muddy color and it changed like that because of the black. So I'm going to come through and, with a lighter brown. Good cookly. Oh, please. There's just, there's no real easy way to organize all of the paints. So, yeah, I've got to rifle through it. All right. Ugh. Actually, I don't even know if I want to do that one. Let's do Mandel. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to take a much lighter brown, the Mandel color, and then I'm going to just... Do some dry brushing around it with it. Oh, why did I leave that on there? So it can splash me in the face. And then we'll come through with the blue color. Oh, cuggly moogly. Really, Terry? Seriously. Wow. Thank you, Rima. I'll come through um, with the blue and then we'll do the paint the horses, both of the light and the darker blue. But now what I want to do is just come in like I've showed you guys many times with like a light hand and just kind of um, I'm going to take a soft flat brush and then just dry brush on this darker few four more tags I need to string and I'm done. 120. Good golly, Miss Molly. Quick question. Cracking paint system. Can I use universal primer? Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Uh, step one is the same for all of the crackles. So as long as you have one, step one and one, you have it for all of them. Step two is the one that, did you say Kugly Mugly? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Hi, Diana. Oh, I'm happy you caught me too. I always say Kugly Mugly. Oh my gosh, you're already making gift tags? She, my knees. I do my own gift tags too, but I cheat. I do it on the scan and cut. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't. Those days of cutting out everything. No, no, no. All right, so we're just brushing this. We're not trying to get any, you know, specific coverage um, because I'm going to go through and paint it with the blue. I do want to make note, though, that because I'm going left to right, I'm going to keep going left to right. I don't want to go up and down because then your swirls are going to look all kind of crazy. You're welcome, Ari. So we're just going, picking up some of the lighter color and then just lightly brushing it. Again, I've talked to you guys about when you choke up on the brush. So when you choke up closer down, you've got harder pressure. When you're higher up, it's, you know, a lighter pressure. So the more you, you know, the more you choke up on the brush, the more paint that's going to go down. And you can tap off as much as you want on your napkin. I'm not real worried about getting a lot off. I'm not trying to take it all off. But I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. You must have missed that drinking game from yesterday. Every Kugly Moogly and every Dear Lord meant to drink. Oh, really? I Like I said, I had my I was Miss Linda. I was you guys. Sue said it, but I was really scared at the beginning. I was like, this is going to be a hot, stinking mess. I'm going to look like a goober. And I mean, I don't mind looking like a goober, but like I was really good. I felt like I was really <laughs> going to make myself look like a fool yesterday. <laughs> I don't mind making mistakes and messing up. That's not the thing. I just was thinking I wasn't going to get anywhere. I really did. I had the fear of not even getting. And those stairs, when it was saying to stack those all up, and then they were all different sizes, it made no sense to me. All right, so this is what we have with just the brushing of the Mandel. So you can see how it toned down that dark black. So now if we pull in the balloon, ooh, we might even brush over, we might even do that on here. For those of you who have come in late, I only painted these two on purpose. I didn't want to torture everyone with painting everything. But we might want to dry brush that on here. As well, we can still put the, the wax, but I'm thinking because of the way the paper looks, that that'll look good on that as well. Should we try it while we're here? Since I'll do the rest offline, I might as well figure out what we what looks good now while I have you guys. Now I will tap off a lot more than I did on the actual Marigo carousel, whatever you want to call it. And I'm gonna stand up because it's this round thingy. So, just to give it a little bit of color variation, a little bit of dimension, and it matches the paper. All 
All right. So All right, see, so if you can tell the difference on that one, oh, yeah, I like that. And then if we do any highlighting or anything with the wax, that'll look really good. So let me hold it this way. So, yes. So what I will do, again, I will paint all of these brown, and then I will go through and hit the tops with the Mandel. And then it'll give us that. Because it looks really good with the paper. And again, I did put in the description the paper, the links to the paper and the stuff that I use, the colors. So if you guys are looking for what colors the blue are and all that good stuff, that's in the description. So everything that I used up until we started today and then I will put um, whatever I use today in Wednesday's description. I'll add it too. Good morning, Jesse. Wherever did you get the mold for the casting? This one? I'm assuming you're talking about this one and not the rope molds. Well, not that it matters. I got them both on Amazon. I, uh, of course that I did forget to put in the description. I'll, I, I will grab it though. And I'll put that in there, um, as well. Okay. So we will dry brush. Um, we will dry brush the Mandel on top of all the Browns. Um, I've got to really fix my heating pad. So it stays on the back of my chair. Cause every time I sit down, it's like, Ooh, uh, okay. Yes, Callie. I'll put the balloon in there too. I will put the balloon in there too. Okay. So now, duh, you big dope. Forgot to paint something. <laughs> ah. Yep. You know, and actually I'm going to pop that piece off. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I should do it off screen because Sue's going to yell at me. I'm going to do it off screen because I got to get my blade in there. I'm going to pop that piece off because that piece is what would, you know, keep it in there. But because I'm going to put this at the top of the um, at the top of the balloon, I don't want that extra piece on there. So I'm going to pop that off, but I'll pop it off when I'm done with the live because. I don't want to get yelled at by my internet mom. <laughs> uh, I, I think. All right. I'm not sure. What are you guys looking for? Are you looking for the rope mold or are you looking for my carousel? Which I, if you're looking for the rope mold, I think Miriam just put that in the description. Description. You guys are awesome. You're always help, so helpful. What, Papas? Oh, I know. You need to uh, keep that on the table so that the little chomping dog who likes to eat everything. What, babe? I can't. I don't know. All right. So paint the top of this as well. We'll do some dry brushing on this. And then we'll go and... Um, paint the the horses that's gonna look cute with the horses painted the blue and I still have to decide 
how we're going to attach this bottom part. I think I'm going to take the, I, I mean, I always knew I was going to take the rope off, but I think I will put the chain there too. So the same chain that we're going to droop on the balloon, I think I'll droop the, or I'll use the chain as the ropes for the basket as well. Oh, why thank you, Shelly Sacklin. I want to make sure you're completely happy with your balloon. <laughs> so is anybody else having problems with the book when you're on your tablet that you cannot comment? Um... And yes, like I said before, I've done all the updates possible. But up until now, this morning, the reason that made me thought, think of it is because, Miriam, I was on your live for a little bit earlier today, but I couldn't comment because I was outside doing some stuff and I only had my tablet on and I didn't have my phone, so I couldn't say hi to you. And I don't know what the deal is with that. No, I was on mine earlier. Jamie, no, like you couldn't comment or you could comment on your tablet. On my phone, I can comment. On my computer, I can comment. But I cannot comment on my tablet. Yeah, Miriam, I was there. I was watching you paint. You were painting. Um, I think you were using the green. And then because I popped on and you were, you were painting the top half. But yeah. I could come in, but once I do comment, I lose the sound. Yes, on my phone that does that. It's It like pauses the video and then it lets me type the comment. And then after I send the comment, then I have to play the video. It's I don't understand what's been happening lately, but it's super frustrating. My tablet is the new, it's a Sam, it's a Galaxy tablet. So I'm all Android, but um, I don't know if it's just because it's Android. Yes, on my tab tablet, it has such a lag. And when I go comment, it stops the live. Yep. Oh, wow. See, okay. And this has been a thing for like a, a while now. I haven't been able to comment on my tablet. Now, the weird thing is, though, is I can reply to somebody else's comment and comment on my tablet, but I can't just start a new comment. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come out really light. Again, I'm going to go left to right, so I'm not going to go up and down with the strokes. But it's super frustrating. I don't know. Yesterday, I was on Nicole's. No, not yesterday. Friday, I was on Nicole's live for like the longest time. But I, again, I only had my tablet on and didn't have my phone. And I couldn't even say anything till dog gone near near the end of her live. Then I was able to say hi. I had that problem with my iPhone, couldn't reply and couldn't make a comment. See, I don't know. You know, it was showing someone was on the live earlier, but their name wasn't coming up. Probably, <laughs> probably was me because I was there. I was watching. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's bizarre. <laughs> Again. Well, I have to do it because if I didn't, Sue would uh, strangle me. But more and more, as like, you know, I am on Facebook. <clears throat> I do stream all these lives on Facebook as well. So I know I get my notifications from, I mean, Facebook, YouTube. So I don't know. It just seems like every time they do something, it just gets worse and worse. And then somebody has a new idea of why the algorithm is this way or that way. Or like, yeah, no. 
never going to figure out that algorithm unless you're a, an actual analyst who sits down and does all of that stuff. All right. So there we go. Oh, I like that like that. Okay. So now I can put those in the water and now let's get out the blue. Now I'll be quiet and not pick on you. Tell me again while you're using what, tell me again what you're using right now, please. Right now I'm using the core paint chalky in the color Mandel. Hi, Shannon. I was on your live, Miriam. Did you see me? See? So, okay. So I just dry brushed the Mandel. Now let's get, um, let's get out the blues we were using. And get to the little horsies here. And actually, all right, so do you guys think that we should do silver with this? Or do are we thinking like a gold? I don't, you guys know I usually don't use. You're welcome, Judy. I usually am not a silver person, which is funny when I'm doing my crafting. But I'm wondering, do we think we should do silver? The reason why I'm asking, because I want to do these beads in the wax. Um, but I'm not sold on the silver. You know, I always like my white chameleon gold, too. I'm just not sold on that silver. Really? Is there gold in the rice paper? No, it's not, um, Sue. It's like a, um, like a dirty, like a dirty brown. And it's got some scripts and stuff. Actually, let me go like this. I still have, so here is one of uh, the pieces un, uncurved and crazy. So this is more so what we're looking at. Is Nicole here? Did I miss her? Hi, Nicole. Mixed metals. Ooh, we could do mixed metals. Hey, we could do mixed metals. Mixed metals would be good. It looks gold under the lights. Yeah, it's not, though. Um, it's not gold. It's like it's got browns in it. I like the chameleon gold. Silver, please. Uh-oh. Shelly's saying silver, and she's staking claim on this. The chameleon gold, mixed metal, agree? I'm, You know, the mixed metals is not a bad idea, right? So let's open them both up and see. Because we can always use clear wax to get it off. You can always use clear wax to get your wax off. It's like a remover. Um I remember when I told Robin that for the first time, she was like, what? <laughs> is that DQ paper? Yes, it is. And the name of it is um, Longing, and it's in my description. It's uh, Dainty and the Queen. It's Yvetta, one of Yvetta's. All right, so let's take a little bit of this. Uh, I still need to get this out. Oh, and then Lynn sent me. You guys know I like my Baskin Robbins little um, spoon, but Lynn sent me all these really cool um, green ones. So I'm gonna take a little bit out of both and then we'll play around and see. I can see from that. Yeah, it was better with seeing a little bit more of the piece, right? Instead of showing you it on the curved surface. Okay, so here is the, the silver. Oh, silver kind of blends right in, huh? Let's bring you in a little bit. So let's put the silver all the way around on there. And then maybe we do the poles in the gold. I like the chameleon. I, I love the chameleon actually. 
The chameleon. Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll use the chameleon on the horses. On the blue. All right. So there's the silver. Okay. Um, now let's get a little bit of this gold and see if I can... I might not be able to come in with my, oh yeah, I can. All right. And yes, I'm getting it on those other places. I'm not real worried about it right now. I'll get it off. So that would be what the gold is. What are we thinking? Oh, okay, Beth, I'm sorry. Do we mix them? Or do we do just, Gold or just silver? Wait, you can't even see it. Yes, mix it. Can you guys see that I just tapped the gold onto that silver? I feel like you guys can't even see that it's there. So I literally am taking a little bit of the silver and putting it on top of the gold just to kind of two-tone it. It's hard for you guys to see, but it actually is very two-toned here. Gold on the horse and silver on the trim. Lost you for a bit. You can see gold. You guys are losing me? Is it me lose being lost or is it something that is happening... I feel like I'm still here, but I don't know. Just like when Robin left me last night, I right away think it's always me. All right, so let's get to these horses a little bit. So we're not going to, um, not me. You're still good. Okay, I like the silver on the gold. It almost looks like a pewter. It does, right? Here, where did it go? Right there and right here. So all of this down here, I mixed the, the silver on there. I do like the mix of it. So I think we'll do... Try not to dig my... I do like the mix, it's really pretty. I wish it was, what are those yellow things? They are, um, they're props for when you're holding, trying to hold something up, but right now I'm using it to, to stop it from rolling. All right, so let's paint, um, they're risers is what they are. I have a bunch of them. So like when you have like a, I don't know, canvas or something down. You could put them up on the risers. Um, all right. So let's get some of this, the blue, and start painting the horses a little bit. I can't believe that I shouldn't. Ooh. Did somebody yell at me and I ignored them? Where'd you get the risers from? The risers I got from Amazon as well. I will put all of those, everything that you guys asked me about, I usually remember and put it in the description. <laughs> usually being, <laughs> usually being the key. All right, let me get some of my very fun detail brushes out here. I don't even know if I'll need them, but we'll see. And then we'll switch to a little smaller or some smaller, smaller brushes. Okay, so 
With the horsies, one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. All right, so we can do every other color. Let's see, how do we want to paint this, though? Do we want to paint paint, or do we want to... Do we want to paint paint? What would be really pretty is to, oops, wrong one, to paint these um, and then do like a gloss varnish on the horses so that they're really, really shiny and glossy. I think that would be really pretty, like a carousel horse. I, Sue is amazing. She, I couldn't do it without Sue for sure. Or if I even tried, the lives would really be longer, longer. They're already long. So we'll paint these guys. We'll go in and give them some chameleon wax. And then I, if that's not enough shine to them, then we'll come in with some real glossy varnish and make the horses super glossy. Hi, Lori. How are you? Thank you for joining. All right. So I'll come back in with my detail brushes in just a second. Too much. And then. This is gonna look so cute hanging from the balloon. All right. So we will definitely need to come in and give these horses some dimension a little bit because otherwise they're just going to be a flat one color and you know how that is not my my jam i see the comments going up oh i try rima <laughs> all right so That's one horsey. So that'll be that one. And then we'll skip that one and come over here. And let's go back with this brush. Aw, oh, thanks, Diana. Thank you, Lori. All right, so come do this. And, you know, I'll just grab my umbra to give it dimension before we wax it. Um, it's always a good habit, you know, for you guys to, to think about when you paint, um, you know, you want to always think about making it, have some dimension, some depth, some highlights. So rarely do we paint something and just leave it one color, right? So rarely will we just go in and go, okay, that's a blue horse and then just paint it blue and leave it. Because if you see that, um, it's just flat. It doesn't look like, you know, it looks like it's not done, something's missing. 
and it doesn't give it as much appeal to look at when it's flat like that. So you want to make sure you go in and do some shading, do some highlights. I was making it look like a seahorse for a minute, giving it a small neck. <laughs> All right. Do what I can with this brush and then come back to this one. So I'll come in with the detail brush. Do I have you guys too close or are you okay? Because I haven't pulled you back yet. Did you guys do anything this weekend? It wasn't as hot. I mean, again, it was in the 90s, 90s, ah, 96 or, you know, somewhere like that. But it wasn't hot 107. But, um. Did you guys get into anything this weekend? Do anything fun? I can't believe we're already going to be August next month. We're going to be doing fall projects pretty soon. You know what I can't wait for? I know some people don't, don't care for it, but I can't wait to start doing Halloween projects. I still have a ton of Halloween stuff that I didn't use from last year. Had greatest day with my kids yesterday. Aww. Watched you do the book. Look, I'm sorry, Mary Lou. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to watch that. No, I, I'm hopefully, it, you know, gave you a giggle. That's awesome, Nicole. It's always nice to have family days. All right, so now we have our second horsey done. We'll put those brushes in and cover this one and get this blue. And get ah. it to, I know, try, try. That's what I'm saying. Okay, and this blue is just a little different. This is the um, indigo. The other one was the denim. And so we'll go through with this one. And then I'll grab my umbra, we'll put some dimension, and then we'll do some of the chameleon gold on this. Went to an amazing vintage Victor. Oh my gosh, Miriam, did you? Did you get some good stuff? Oh, that sounds awesome. Hopefully you were able to find some amazing things at good prices. I haven't been to a good um, estate sale in I don't even know how long. I can't even remember. That's sad. My aunt and cousins took me out to lunch for my birthday Saturday. It was a surprise. Oh, Beth. Happy belated birthday. How cool. What kind of food did you, did you go eat? That's so neat. It's always nice. Somebody does something nice and special for you and you're not expecting it. This lady was a huge Jane Austen fan. Her house was covered with Victorian and British stuff, plus very antique. Oh, wow, Miriam. Did you pick up anything or were you just in awe looking at everything? <laughs> All right. So there's our second horsey. 
I feel like, I was gonna say, I didn't even use my detail brush on this guy. Did I miss a whole bunch? So you can see there's just a little color variation there. Wow, not that much. What's happening with my color? Oh, not that one, wrong one. There we go. All right, now let's paint the last horse. I've got, of course, Victorian cookbooks and a basket full of wooden spools, vintage plain blocks and a vintage. You got, oh my word, you got a vintage rocking horse? Like, what What size are we talking? Oh, that's going to be awesome. So, you guys, I, uh, my son um, actually, is, one of his girlfriend's um, church was doing, um, you know, a sale. It was a sale at the church, and so they she took a picture because they had a bunch of silver trays and you know all the that like the whole set and so i had her pick me up one and it has um you know the the pot the creamer and the i don't know what else sugar one anyways i was i got a silver cleaner to clean off all of the tarnish and it says, happy 25th anniversary, and then whoever the people were. I was like, aw. <laughs> well, oh, did you? I must not. I was either breaking down boxes and only listening or didn't see that. I'll have to look. This went to Applebee's. We live in a very small town. That was that. I, I'm, I like Applebee's. I'm a creature of habit, though. I always get the same things. I get the pasta, the fettuccine, or um, like a the sandwich. But we have Applebee's right up the street too. We always get Applebee's. All right, so we got our horses done. Let's grab some Umbra and give these guys some dimension and then put the white wax on there. Okay, so are we good? I really didn't use my detail brush on these guys, though. I feel like I might have missed something. Either that or that this brush was just better. Huh. All right. All righty. That reminds me of a beautiful Paris. Aww. The only chain restaurants in my town are McDonald's and Pizza Hut. Are you serious, Sue? All right, let's hit this with the dryer just a little bit. I think it's pretty much dry, but while we're doing that, I'll stand up and we'll get the umbra. Oh my gosh, I just seen Shannon, are you still here? I just seen that you sent stars. Thank you so much. A and W? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen an A and W in a while. Actually, I tell lies. We have an A and W, but it's like connected to a wiener sitzel. It's not like a free A and W by itself. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take that's the new one. I still didn't finish my old one and I opened the new one. Bad, bad, bad. I'm gonna take a small a small um, brush. I do need to get, oh, I have some rags here. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead, not going to get too crazy with it. I'm just going to come through again just to give it a little bit of depth. 
and then we'll hit it with the And I'll show you guys what I mean by, you know, just trying to make it a, a, a habit, a good practice of coming back and putting in some depth and highlights in your, in your paint, paintings. All right, so you see him, he's a little dirty. He looks like yum wiener schnitzel. I know, right, chili cheese fries? And then we'll, Take off some of that umbra or wipe it back, I should say. And now do you see the difference in him and then in him? Can you see that? Never heard of what? Long John Silvers? I only, I think we have, Long John Silver's isn't at, isn't everywhere like it used to be. I think there's maybe a couple of them left, but we still have Long John Silver's. I remember when I was little, my grandma that I told you guys all about with the pink rollers, we used to go to Long John Silver's. That's one of the places that she would take us. That was something she liked to go to. The schnitzel place. Wiener schnitzel? You never heard of wiener schnitzel? Obviously, wiener schnitzel. It has like corn dogs and hot dogs and chili dogs and chili cheese dogs. and But they do have an A&W attached. All right. So can you see that now? How it just really changes, right? It takes your, it just takes it to a whole different I saw my first ever Taco Bell on Saturday. Oh my gosh, see, so we have all of that here. Our town might be little, but we have Taco Bell, McDonald's, Panera, um, Wiener Schnitzel, Jack in the Box, KFC, Chipotle, Wendy's. Yeah, we might be a little town, but it's all they got. They're all here. Fast food for days, that's for sure. With just the paint, they are ugly. <laughs> With just the paint, they are ugly. Well, I mean, it does, right? It looks like like something's not, it's like, hmm, okay, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it does look like something is kind of off when it's just the paint. We have McDonald's and KFC. We have pubs that sell food. We don't have TGIF. They all closed here. Yeah, um, we never had one here. The only one that I'd ever been to was um, like the G TGF. TGIF um, was in Las Vegas. Um, I don't even know. I'm a, I assume it's probably still there. It's in one of the casinos. TGI Fridays. All right, so there's our horsies now. They've got a little bit of depth in there. Oh, I didn't even use these brushes. Let's put these away. And I am going to give this one a little bit of shadow around it. I didn't do it right there. All right. All right, so now we need to do our the poles to get our poles out. So we'll do a little bit of mixed metal on the poles with the silver and the gold. 
and then we will um i want a small fluff brush so i don't have to keep messing with digging my finger in this let's see Our population here is 69.39, so not much chain places. You missed Chipotle. We moved to Oak Clay from California. I missed In and Out. Oh, that was one I missed. Yep. We have In and Out. Um, where in California did you live, Dana? You probably have told me that before. See, I just don't like the way it looks with the brush, though. I'd rather it my finger. Yep, and um, El Pollo Loco, yes. Actually, those aren't too far from each other here. It's like we have... A Pollo Loco Wendy's, and then the next block up, we have um, In and Out. Oh, and Chick fil A now. Chick fil A is across the street from In and Out. So the traffic right there is always ridiculous, and it's right off of the freeway. So, of course, you know. Everybody's in the way because it bleeds out into the street. Oh, okay. You live, okay. So you live south. Gotcha. All right. So then, and then I'm going to add a little bit because I didn't do it up here. So we did just silver up there. So I'm going to put some of the gold in through there. The basket at the top will be showing, so I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to mix the, both of them and come down and do the bottom as well. And I'm just literally just kind of dipping in both the silver and the gold. So some it's picking up a little more silver, some picking up a little more gold. Actually, I'll get a little bit more gold out. I'm in California, California, Dana Southern. Oh, you're, Lori, you're in California. You're West Coast too. Just, wow, I didn't realize that. All right, so now we've got the silver, and that looks good. Can you guys see that? It's so pretty, right? All right, now let's do the horses. We'll get the chameleon gold out for the horses. I'm going to clean off my fingers from the silver and gold because those are a little bit too deep. And these cool things that Miss Lynn sent me, I can just wipe them off. Dry them. Now let's get some of the chameleon gold out. Too much. Still too much, but we'll work with it. Let's put that over here. Actually, I'll work with it on there. All right. Crazy how many restaurants you all have. I have a bar around the corner and a diner about five miles away. I have to go 20 to 45 miles to get it to a real. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's one thing we have. So the main street on that main street is like Applebee, Applebee's, all the fast foods. And then you go out a little further and then there's Chili's and um, what's the other one? Sizzler's. And then you have like the Ono Hawaiian barbecues and yeah, that 
That's one thing we're not lacking is, but you know what we are lacking is like the mom and pop restaurants, like the good food, you know, not the chain restaurant food, but like the, the good Mexican food spots, the good Chinese food spots, like the good, like that. We don't have that in, in our town. We have to go further for that. Here we have more of the, like the chain places. Okay, so this is the chameleon gold on there. Can you guys see that? I'm in California, Lori, but I'm in, um, thank you guys. I'm in um, the Central Valley. I'm in NorCal. So I'm 45 minutes south of Sacramento. So now we've got our shiny, shiny, sorry, sorry. Our horses, now they've gotten their depth. They've gotten now their highlight. Now they're looking good. How are we looking on time? Oh, yep. Good timing too. Because we are about done with this anyways so there we go that's our horsies i know oh did you really lori doggone it oh five chip stands <laughs> all right so let's get my dirty towel out and oh i did forget to do this that was dodo birdish all right, you guys have to put up with me for another two minutes. And then I'll let you guys go. All right, so let's, I'm going to just do it the way I was doing the, um, the bottom. I'm going to dip my finger in both the gold and the silver. I have like a. A little bit of the hair on there. And then they've got some of these, like, stars and whatnot on here. So we'll pick up some of that. And I still have to pop off the bottom of this and then I'll paint the bottom of it, this, the brown. And let's get some more of the gold on there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, Papas. Okay, and then just do the top. I don't want to stick my nail in there. That's why I keep doing it like that. And then a little bit on here. Just to give it some shine. All right, so now let's close these up. And then, so tonight, um, what I'll do when I get off of here, I will paint the rest of the, um, the balloon, the brown, and then do the highlight uh, with the Mandel. And then when we come back on Wednesday, all we really need to do then is construct it all. So this is what we are. I didn't want to grab that with all that on there. Oh my gosh, look at that. So this is gonna go on there. Can you guys, hold on. Now that I can't find my mouse. Okay, so this 
is going to hang. And again, I think what I want to do with that is put the silver chain. Because I think the silver chain, you know, the to hold the basket. But so this is what we have for the horsies. And then to get kind of. So it'll be up against the brown like that. Right? So that'll be super cute. And then again, um, I have to pop off this bottom piece, which I'll do that right now. And then that will sit flush on there. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is what we're looking at. You can probably see it better now. So this is the little, and I will put, um, I will put this down in the description and then that was the top. See, it's really pretty. It has like a lot of detail for this little thing. Shelly will love her balloon. I know. <laughs> so that, and then again, so I will go through with the Mandel and I'll get all of these, you know, the sides and stuff. Again, I should have probably just went ahead and did that, but whatever we did the horsey. So when we come back on Wednesday, we'll do the chains. So we'll attach the chains and then I'll go ahead and pull out the gold as well. So we'll droop the gold. We'll droop, do double, do double layers. So we'll droop the gold and the silver chain. And then um, if we decide to hang any, I just seen something I might do. And if we decide to hang any of the, um, like any, embellishments or charms or anything from the chain we can do that because we ha have all of the the eye hooks and stuff like that that we can do that with so i'll pull out the gold and yeah anyhow i hope you guys um have a great start to your week um i will see you on hump day as usual um same time same place so thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you later.